As Joan of Arc once said, I am not afraid, I was born to do this. And indeed, her life was nothing short of extraordinary. Born in the early 15th century in a small village named Domremy, France, Joan was the daughter of peasants, far removed from the opulence of royalty. From an early age she was deeply religious finding solace in prayer and the teachings of the church. Life in Domremy was humble and unassuming, a stark contrast to the tumultuous landscape of France at the time. The country was in the throes of the Hundred Years' War, a bitter conflict with England that had torn the nation apart. This was the world into which Joan was born, a world in desperate need of hope and salvation. Born amidst turmoil, Joan was destined for great things guided by a vision only she could comprehend. Joan was not an ordinary girl. She was destined for a higher purpose fueled by her faith and her visions. From a young age Joan experienced extraordinary visions of saints and angels. These divine apparitions were not mere figments of a lively imagination, they were her guiding lights, her celestial compass leading her on a path of destiny. These visions spurred Joan to embark on a perilous journey across France, a journey that would lead her to the Dauphin Charles, the future king of France. Her conviction was powerful, her faith unwavering. She believed she was chosen, chosen by the divine to lead France to victory, to restore the country to its former glory. Joan did not falter in the face of skepticism or doubt. She held fast to her beliefs, to her divine mission. Joan's belief in her divine mission was unshakable and she embarked on a journey that would change the course of history. Joan's journey was not without trials and tribulations, yet, her legacy lives on, inspiring millions around the world. Our story takes us to the heart of Joan's military campaigns where her courage and strategic brilliance shone brightly. Despite her young age and lack of formal military training, Joan led the French army to several crucial victories during the Hundred Years' War, most notably, the Siege of Orléans. Her actions not only lifted the English siege but also marked a significant turning point in the war, shifting the tide in favor of France. However, her triumphs were met with a tragic end. Captured by the Burgundians and sold to the English, Joan was put on trial for heresy and witchcraft. Despite the severe charges and the biased court, Joan defended herself with remarkable intelligence and eloquence. Ultimately, she was unjustly condemned and met her fate at the stake, bravely facing her execution with the same courage that marked her life. It would take more than 20 years after her death before Joan was posthumously vindicated. The Catholic Church, recognizing the flawed nature of her trial, declared Joan a martyr. Her story did not end there though. Nearly 500 years later, in 1920, Joan was canonized, officially recognized as a saint by the Catholic Church. The impact of Joan's actions extended far beyond the battlefield. Her bravery and unwavering faith in her divine mission stirred the hearts of her contemporaries and played a crucial role in the revival of French national identity. Even today, Joan remains an emblem of courage, faith, and patriotism. Her story is a testament to the power of belief and the human spirit's resilience. It's a narrative that transcends time, one that has been told and retold, studied and celebrated. Joan of Arc, the Maid of Orléans, the Saint, the Heroine, her many names reflect the multifaceted nature of her legacy. Despite her tragic end, Joan's spirit remained unbroken. Her legacy, a symbol of courage, faith and patriotism, continues to inspire us today. Joan of Arc, a peasant girl turned national hero, has evolved into a powerful symbol over the centuries. Her story transcends the annals of history, embedding itself into the collective consciousness of not just France, but the world. Her tale of unwavering faith and indomitable spirit has been immortalized in countless works of art, literature and popular culture. From Shakespeare's depiction of her in Henry VI to Mark Twain's novel Personal Recollections of Joan of Arc, her life and legacy have been examined and reinterpreted through various lenses across generations. In contemporary times, Joan's story holds immense relevance. It serves as a beacon of hope and resilience in the face of adversity, a testament to the power of belief in the human spirit. Her narrative continues to inspire, reminding us that no matter our origins, we are capable of great things. Joan's life was a testament to the power of faith and determination. Her story though rooted in the past, continues to inspire the present and shape the future.